What's going on everybody? I'm Tanner. I'm Alexis. And you're watching Adventure Daily. So we've been doing this Tech Tip Tuesday series and I wanted to cover something in today's video and that is luggage. How do we carry our stuff while we're trail riding? Got some exciting things sitting here. Yeah, we do. We got a whole plethora of stuff from budget all the way up to some more of the expensive options. When we started out, we were pretty broke. So we pretty much just rode with backpacks. That was pretty much it. Backpack, maybe a fanny pack. I don't have any shame in rocking the fanny pack. And we'll start at the very beginning. This outdoor products fanny pack from Walmart. This is my second one, but this thing has seen a lot. I think you got that first one in Tennessee. That was in Uniontown when we did the Halloween ride. Oh, okay. Dressed okay. up as the Scooby Doo game. We were not in Ohio. I used the other one so much that it just fell apart. And this is $7. Yeah. Well, yeah. at the time it's that I bought size. it. It's a good size. It has a lot of pockets. It does. I mean, you can fit all your phone, wallet, camera batteries. That's what I used it for. And even the small vlogging camera will fit into this. So, yeah, that was something that, that you really enjoy is that your vlogging camera, you could just access it easily and pass mm -hmm. it to someone rather than having to like take off your whole backpack and then dig in there and. Yeah. So sometimes I would accessible. wear it right in the front, typical dad mode. Sometimes I wear it in the back that looks a little bit better, but it's kind of annoying to yeah. spin it around. Most of the time though, I would put it right on my handlebars. So they actually sell handlebar bags and I will link some down below, but they're expensive. And like I said, $7, you can put a lot of stuff in it. So that's a good budget option. You never really liked them. You never used them. I don't know. I've gotten so comfortable with the feeling of a backpack on yeah. me that I just am like, I don't think I would need both. I feel like I would feel way, like way too much on me. Right. Um, I've never tried just a fanny pack, so. But that is her thing. She is the backpack girl. I she am. always has a backpack on her. I always have everything you need in my backpack. A first aid kit, The, the smallest girl has the heaviest backpack. Yeah, she weighs that thing down. And we're actually gonna do another video coming up about all of the things that we actually carry. Yeah, for sure. Especially now that we're out west, we actually have to be conscious about, you know, we might not make it back to the truck or yeah. back from the trails. We don't really know, whereas at Wayne, we typically know where we are and, yeah, and we... things like that and aren't very far from civilization. Um, out here, it could be a very different story. It's very easy to get lost. Back home, literally, you can just walk back to the truck. Like yeah. We're never that far yeah. and we're always with other people. Out here, we're gonna be doing a lot of riding by ourselves. Yeah. So we're more conscious about gas, mm -hmm. um, food, emergency tools, things like that. Yeah, we want to have, you know, spare tubes, all the tools to do the general maintenance, a bunch of zip ties, you know, pretty much anything that can get us by in a pinch. But like I said, we're not going to focus on that in today's video, more on the medium of how we're going to be carrying this stuff. But I said, she is the backpack girl, so you've used this one quite a bit, haven't you? Yes, I mainly use this, though, for on-road riding. I mm -hmm. typically don't bring a lot of stuff on road or usually within civilization. Mm -hmm. um, that's a backpack from Amazon that's like 10 bucks, just a general backpack. So, a beater. Yeah. So what she normally uses is just a cheap Amazon hydration pack. And the one that she has is a pretty decent size. You can yeah. carry a lot in yeah. it. Yeah. There's a lot of different options on Amazon. I chose one that has multiple options for pockets because I knew that I would be carrying like a first aid kit and other things like that. Whereas I know some people that I've like recommended that we ride with will just get one that like basically has one big zipper for the hydration pack and then you can fit other things in there as well. It's nice. Those usually have the insulated pocket for the hydration pack. Kind of if your water's cold, it'll keep it cold for a little bit they're usually pretty like ergon er er ergonomic <laughs> ergonomic yes ergonomically friendly <laughs> they're, they're, <laughs> God damn it. let me interject here i like the backpacks that have a hip strap for me that takes a lot of the weight off your shoulders and you know if you're loading it down with water or gear it's just going to be directly on your shoulders and that's yeah. why i like this thing over here but we'll get to that so if you are looking for a hydration pack and you want one that's larger that will carry some things i suggest getting one that has a hip strap you don't have one on yours do you i think i do i don't use it yeah because it interferes with my chest protector right and so i don't like that i do use the chest strap that's like a must because otherwise if you're wearing a chest protector in a backpack your straps just keep falling off so it is nice to have one that has a chest strap. Since you mentioned that, I'll go ahead and show you what I am currently running and my favorite option on the market. Cause my biggest complaint with the hydration pack was having to put it over my chest protector. It was always uncomfortable for me. It would always dig into my shoulders it's, and like fall off of the chest protector. It's pretty annoying. It and, is. and I've tried multiple different kinds of chest protectors and backpacks and it's kind of inevitable. I'm still working out some tweaks. We need to find a youth option for you, to be honest. Like if they had a youth option I've that's similar three. to that. I know, but you haven't tried <laughs> oh, one that's integrated. Liat, 
good on you because I think this is a great Dude, invention. I like, love this. I'm thing. surprised more and more people don't run this. I mean, pick it up right now by the handle. Yeah. I've got a lot of stuff in there right now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've got some spare tubes, my toolkit, probably still some water in there. Actually, I'm kind of thirsty. Let me get a hit off this. Oh, God, that's probably really old water. A little moldy. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's cold, though. That tastes good. <laughs> Ew. A little rubbery. Oh, dirt. It really just acts as a backpack. I don't know how they did it, but they managed to make this in a way that keeps a lot of the weight off your shoulders. So you got a lot of adjustments with these things so you can get it fine tuned. I'm really surprised that it doesn't pull this up. It doesn't? Like, yeah, it just like it does, it fits you very well. If you have this tight enough, it won't ride up on you. And it's just very comfortable. And like I said, my biggest complaint was having to wear my hydration backpack over my chest protector. And I always wear a chest protector. I was gonna say, the only time that I feel like this would not be for someone is if they don't wear a chest protector all the time. Or already have an expensive one. Yeah, yeah. And they only wear like a hydration pack or vice versa. Like you only wear a chest protector and you don't carry any kind of backpack or you maybe just wanna run a fanny pack. Cause then you still need that back protection with right. like a regular chest protector. I know a lot of people that don't. I swear by chest protectors. My parents, like growing up, always made me ride with one. And there's been a bunch of times where I'd slam them in my bars, had a hard crash, and dude, I bruised my ribs multiple times. And let me tell you, if you've ever done that, it is one of the worst experiences. It takes forever to heal, and it just makes day-to-day -day tasks unbearable. I think everyone that we ride with rides with them. Yeah, yeah, for the most part. I don't think Zach or Daniel do, but. Yeah. I don't think Tilly does. I think I literally don't think No, I Tilly does. He bought does one, but I don't know how often he wears it. Something else that I recommend for newer riders or somebody that just wants some more protection is they actually make the body suits. And I know mm -hmm. like Jeff yep. and um, even Tilly had one when he was doing a little bit of street riding, but I think Fox and a few other companies make literally full arm elbow pads, yeah. everything. And they're like mesh, so that's nice. It's breathable. I think, yeah, it's, yeah. I definitely recommend that if you're just starting out and you're going to be crashing a lot because if you're riding dirt bikes, it's inevitable. You can mm -hmm. ask her. She's been yeah. through a lot. Yep, and I've definitely dinged up my elbows. Yeah. Like I think one of my worst crashes, I hit my elbow nicely on a tree. I personally don't wear elbow pads. They do increase arm pump a little bit and it's kind of controversial in the moto world. Like none of the motocross riders wear them. It's just one of those things that you would think more people would wear, but it's kind of cumbersome. It's something that I want to try though. So let me know if any of you run elbow pads I'm and curious. what you would recommend. I can't really say much more about this thing. It has a lot of organizational pouches and pockets in the back, which I love for all my camera gear. I can throw my drone in here. I use the DJI Mini 2 and I can throw all of that in there. Tools, uh, my tire irons, a tube. One thing that's nice is Liat they know their stuff so this yeah. is like a quality chest protector quality backpack like it'll last you a long time leah has a ton of products and it's like on the pricier end but again it's quality it'll last you it's protective they know their stuff we do get some products sent to us from time to time this is something that i paid of out of my own pocket and mm. i have no regrets this is paid for itself 10 times over and i highly recommend that if that's one of your gripes as well like i said the chest protector the backpack it drives me nuts so this is a great option it's still super lightweight and that's another thing all of this stuff is is very lightweight everything that we use we don't do any moto camping we don't do any long rides so we primarily ride dirt bikes and we just need enough for a day trip something to throw our lunch in snacks tools and like i said we're going to be a lot more conscious about the tools and survival supplies that we carry so we have something over here that we'll get into that's going to allow us to carry a lot more so what else do we have on the table here lex well this is one of my personal favorites i've never ran it but i think it's cool this is a fanny hydration pack so it's like the best of both worlds. This is Camelback brand, but they have other brands. It's a little bit on the pricier side. I think it's like $75. But again, well worth it, especially if you're like combining the two. And this is like the only thing that you want to run. If you don't have a reason to have a whole big backpack and you just want a hydration pack. And if you want to wear a chest protector and wear this, it would be a lot more comfortable. Absolutely. Um, I love this thing, especially how versatile it is. No, it's not obviously intended for riding, but that's what I bought it for because if we're just going out on a quick ride, few hours and I don't want to have the extra weight on my shoulders yeah. I'll just throw my other chest protector on use this and that way I still have water some butt wipes you know mandatory essentials what is more gonna say like GoPro <laughs> batteries and stuff these are a good nah. pocket for you gotta have the butt wipes and it also has like little bitty pockets 
around your hips. There's the side. more storage than you think. In yeah, it. for sure. That is definitely one of my favorite options. I use it hiking a lot and I ride with it quite a bit. Yeah, hiking it would be nice, mountain biking. Also, if you just need that. more water, you can also bring this along oh, with yeah. the hydration pack because yeah. water goes quick. Not for her, she don't drink much, but for me, I drink a lot of water when I'm riding, so I often find myself running out. Actually, let's get this over with because it's not the most exciting for some, but it's something that's been very helpful for me. And this is the camera backpack. This is actually a nicer option that I found on Amazon. It is water resistant, nice rubber material, offers some protection from impacts. You can use this at your own risk with riding. If you fall directly on your back, it's, it's going to crunch some things. But overall, I just bought this to store all of my camera gear and it's got a plethora of organizational options. It's completely oh, wow. modular, so you can go through and custom fit this to your camera gear. And I use this quite a bit, and it's been really handy. And I like the design overall. It's got a rollout extra storage compartment on top, so you can actually fit more than you think. As a filmmaker, I was gonna say, so I feel like you've used that a lot for like group rides, um, mm -hmm. especially when you're wanting to take multiple shots with different cameras that's like your go-to backpack. Yeah, this is more for the filmmaker, but I know yeah. a lot of you out there are making videos Absolutely. and you know, recreational photographers, whatever. So this is a great option. I'll link it down below as well as everything else. Let's go ahead and talk about this tank bag because this is one of my favorite items and it's from Tusk. Rocky Mountain product, dude, they make quality stuff for a really budget price. price. Yeah, for sure. We're about to install these on Alexis's bike. And as you can see over here, we got one on my Husky. I was worried about how it would fit because the Husky is so much narrower than my Honda. And it fit really good on the Honda, but honestly, it fits better on the Husky. And I did some gnarly single track riding out in Tucson did not get in my way at all. So Sweet. even if you're not doing any dual sporting or longer adventure rides, I would highly suggest looking into that because you can carry a lot of stuff in there and it keeps the weight off of your body. So anything that you can get on your bike and off your body, it's gonna wear you out less and less fatigue, the better. So I highly recommend these things. You can also have a tablet in here, a phone, put your GPS system in here. And I recommend doing that over the handlebar mount because a lot of the newer smartphones, you can ruin the optical image stabilizer in your camera. Yeah. So this is a nice place to put that. It also has a little port that you can run a cable into. So I'm gonna be running a 12 volt socket on my bike. That way I can plug in, charge my devices, camera batteries. They've got some organizational mm -hmm. options in here. Very quality zipper. Like yeah, the, yeah, I'm glad you mentioned yeah. that. Waterproof too. Yeah, absolutely. And it actually comes with a waterproof like bag. Yeah, so the tank bag itself is just water resistant, but if you're worried about it, you can throw this on there. I've rode in the rain with just this and nothing got wet. So this is something I highly recommend. It's been tested, mm -hmm. no issues. It does not get in your way. It's I light. It is Super light. Super light. But look how she's holding it right oh. now. You can also pop it off, you know, if you have some expensive things in there and you don't want to leave your bike in the parking lot and you can just use it as a little handbag. But yeah. I believe this is the large size. I think they make two different sizes. Correct. I love this thing, but we have some other Tusk products to install. So I'm excited. Let's go ahead and move over here to the Husky. So we are over here at the business end of my new FE 350. And guys, we have a Tusk Excursion Rackless Luggage System. It offers a lot of different options. So with this system, you can get up to 50 liters of storage and that's plenty for what we're gonna be doing. This is a really high quality dry bag, completely waterproof, the zippers. <laughs> Good stuff. So this is a rackless system. Me personally, I decided to install a rack and I'm actually getting different plastics for this bike. We're gonna be completely customizing it. So I don't wanna drill through my fender just for the sake of this video. But if you do not have a rack, you can use this piece right here. You just have to drill a few holes into your fender. And this is a nice option for those of you that don't wanna run a rack. And especially on these dirt bikes, if you wanna take it off and not have that, this can be an easier way to do that. But, completely removable too. Yeah, this whole system is modular. You know, you yeah. can have the dry bag on there or you can leave it off. She right there is holding, that is the side bag. So we've got two, two of, them. of those. Yes, and these also hold a lot of storage. Also completely waterproof. And then on the side of these, you have water bottle bags or fuel bags, um, whatever you wanna use them for. We're gonna use them for fuel because we don't have aftermarket tanks yet. That's something that we're thinking about, haven't made the ultimate decision, but that'll be nice for those MSR fuel bottles. You can go ahead and throw one in there, one on the other side, and that'll probably get us out of trouble. Hopefully we never get to that point, <laughs> but yeah, it's you nice to have the option. So yeah, you, got, you have one big bag, two side bags, and then two water bottle bags. And then you also have the tank bag if you're running that as well. 
So the way this works with the rackless system is this bag here actually bolts to this portion here of this nylon. And then this strap goes to your frame down here. And depending on what bike you have, this is a pretty universal system. Chase from Rocky Mountain, they have a really good video on the install. So I'll go ahead and link that in the description. You also have a heat shield for your exhaust. Yeah, that is a must. I'm sure somebody was going to ask about it. So I figured I'd put that in there. <laughs> you don't want to burn a hole in these bags. But they actually use a KTM 500 in the video, I believe, and that is the same frame configuration, minus the composite subframe, but similar size. So if you're curious about what bikes it'll fit, it should fit most dirt bikes. But like I said, go check out his video for a full install. We're not gonna do this yet because I am gonna order a rack for this. These are all really padded. Like I said, even if you have the system on, you can remove the bag. If you wanna take it in somewhere or do something with it, makes it really easy. Yeah, if you've got expensive things, you don't want to leave them out on your bike if you're in a hotel, motel, if you're in a parking lot at a restaurant. Yeah. If you've got something that you want to bring with you, you have that option. Also, if you want to go on a ride and not have the bags, you can rip them off really quick and go about your way. So everything is modular. That's what I love. These are dirt bikes. Mm -hmm. You know, these aren't overlanding rigs. We don't plan on doing a lot of that stuff, but, but we do. But this will really hold a lot. Yeah. I mean, he yeah. was like, oh, a day trip, but you could definitely pack like... <laughs> A, a small tent, mm -hmm. clothes, food for at least a night. Honestly, everything for, for one, you. even maybe two people as yeah. far as sleeping arrangements and yeah. stuff. Like, yeah, this is a really good option and I'm excited. I'll do another video on it once we get it installed and do some riding with it. And I actually have some experience with it, but I've heard a lot of good things and yeah, I'm excited to have that. And that's kind of the next level for storage because we can't really carry too many things and this will allow us to do that if we do want to go on a longer trip. Absolutely. You want to throw your tank bag on? Yeah, let's Sweet. do it. Sweet. All right, so I'm going to mount the Tusk tank bag to my bike. To start, I'm going to mount the side straps. There's two of them on the sides and then one in the front. We'll do the sides first. So this bottom of this strap is just will be a loop and it'll mount right to the frame. Boom. One done. And then obviously you can trim these because they give you quite a bit. She's struggling. That's a tight fit. It's usually a good thing. Two done. And that's like on there. And then for this front strap, I'm just gonna mount it right across this head tube. Boom. This one's really long. I'm gonna be able to trim a lot of that off. Money. That's it. All of like three minutes, not even two minutes maybe. So like we said, this is the large bag. They offer two different options. I actually have the small one on my Husky. Lex ordered the large one, but we might swap out. I like the larger size and it's just a subtle difference. There really isn't that big a difference, but it's enough to where you can carry some extra equipment and that'll be good for me. But overall, this is honestly my favorite mode of storing things on my bike because it's out of the way. You'd be surprised after you ride with it for a little bit, you won't even know it's there and it is very comfortable. As you can see, this is just a little bit slimmer. I know I've been asked this a lot in the past, whether I had the small or the large. So if that kind of clears it up for you, as far as the difference, there's not much. That sounds like Thomas the tank engine getting strangled. Well, that pretty much wraps up all of the current luggage items that we use. I'm sure we will add plenty of different things in the future, but for now, this is what has worked for us. And yeah, we're excited to try the new Tusk excursion setup eventually once I get a rack on here. And we're doing a bunch of things to these bikes, guys. So stay tuned for a lot of videos. We're working with some awesome companies, trying out some new parts that I never had before. And yeah, we're pumped to have you know two of the same bikes. A lot of the parts are shared between these two. So they're a pleasure to work on and I've always enjoyed these machines. So let me know your comments down below on what you guys run as far as your storage systems there's so many options out there so we'd love to hear your thoughts 
Everything that we have linked is now in the Amazon storefront for Adventure Daily. So anything that's ever been linked in a previous video in the description is now all in one place. So go ahead and bookmark the page and you can find everything for every bike he's ever owned, um, all the gear options we have, and now all the storage options as well. As well as I am in the process of setting up my Rocky Mountain website, I'll have all those links to the Rocky Mountain and the Tusk specific products in the description below. But yeah, we're about to have a Rocky Mountain storefront as well. So yeah, pretty cool, help support the channel. So it is much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy these style of videos. We're gonna be doing this every Tuesday. So make sure you have those notifications on so you don't miss out on them. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. Live free, adventure daily. Peace. can see the dust rolling in here. What are you doing, Diesel? He's literally back there digging a hole. Is he just doing it to lay in it? Nope, he walked right away. <laughs> what? That's literally what you're doing. I know, I just don't know if that looks weird. I feel like we're taking oh, a family but, portrait. Yeah, that's all right. Are you ready? You're gonna be cheesing. Uh.